There's one. What do we got here? We got a blackie or a brownie? Blackie would be a black bass, the old largemouth, and brownie would be the brown fish, the smallmouth. I think we got a brownie. Yeah, got a brownie here. And again, we're catching them, not catching them on hard bottom. You look underwater, you watch that underwater camera, you will see that those, that's salt, that's silty bottom. Smallmouth on silty bottom? Yeah, smallmouth on silty bottom. You betcha. You look at that, I don't know if you can see the bottom below that fish, but that's not hard bottom, that's silt. That's where these fish are right now, they're in the silt. Okay. Nice old bronzy here, old bronze back. And this color is that Arkansas shad. Now, there's a lot of different baits you can use. Let me get my pliers out of here. A little different jigs you can use, but and different colors, but I'm trying to match, I'm trying to get a little flash out of this bait. I'm not trying to fish a too dark of a pattern because I want it, I'm catching, I was catching fish on spinner baits. Oh man, are they eating this stuff. There we go. You see, there's there, no doubt about it. They're convinced this is a real deal. You see how well that, that jig hooks fish, too. So we want a little flash and some serious movement on that bait. So we'll start from scratch. So you see how this is rigged. Again, I'm fishing with braid. The, the braid. The whole concept of when and when and when not to use braid is let the fish tell you that. If the fish will hit braid, use it. If they won't hit it, then use mono or uh, fluorocarbon. Let me show you this package. These jigs, you, you know, people have been writing me about these jigs because they can't find them in stores. If you can't find them in stores, just Google it. You'll find them. There's some mail order catalogs that'll carry this. It's called the Spot Stalker Jig. The one I'm using today is 3 16 ounce. The Spot Stalker folks, they, uh, it's owned by Uncle Josh, by the way. They, uh, they have this jig in a ton of sizes all the way up to, I think, one ounce. Seismic Shad, Arkansas. This is that Arkansas Shad color. And I'm going to rig one up for you right now and show you what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to bend that weed guard out of the way, stick the jig right through the nose of the shad like this. And there's a, there's a line, there's a seam right on the top of the shad. I'm going to go down about halfway there. There's a little gap right there where the hook can come out. And I'm going to push that right up on the, on the uh, collar of the jig like that, real nice and tight. And I'm going to flip that over for you so you can see that. Now I'm going to take that weed guard and come back over and put that weed guard right above the hook. And I am ready to catch myself another bass. There we go. There's a good fish. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, what a nice bass. Working a swim jig. Working a jig like a, just like a crankbait, so to speak. Oh, look at that bass. That's a beauty. That is a big, big fish. That's a big fish. In my world around here, I mean, this is a good fish. This is really a good fish. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, that's a good one. Oh, this is one of the biggest bass I've caught in, in Wisconsin in a while. I mean, this is a giant. We'll show you what we're fishing here in a second, but it's a seismic, Kalen's new seismic shad on a spot stalker jig and I'm swimming it with bait casting gear. But that is a giant, ladies and gentlemen. It's about as big as they get in northern Wisconsin. That fish is, you know, it's 23 to 24 inches long and seven to eight pounds, six, six on the light side. Look at her. I mean ladies and gentlemen, that's as close to a to a Florida bass in Wisconsin as you're ever gonna get. And that fish is probably 25 years old. Look at the size of that bass. 
That's the biggest largemouth I've ever caught on TV in Wisconsin. I mean, that is, it's 23 to 24 inches long and big around. You know, seven to eight pounds. What a beauty. Whoa. Let's put her back. You know, folks, now that I think of it, the biggest largemouth I've ever caught in Wisconsin. Now check out some more bass fishing There he is. and you can usually catch them on lipless cranes. Yeah. Alrighty.